Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex and I would really love it if you could subscribe to my channel down below and give the video a like if you enjoy it. Today I'm going to be comparing two note-taking apps, GoodNotes 5 and Notability. <laughs> I've personally used both of them and I've actually gone back and forth between the two. As of recently, I have decided which one is my favourite and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you why. I use the iPad Air 2019 model, I believe. This is with the first generation Apple Pencil. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Before we get started, I'm just going to explain to you a little bit about why I use both of these apps and which one I prefer. I'm going to give you my conclusion up front and then later on I'll show you my reasoning. I got this iPad in March of 2019 just as we were going into lockdown, which I think was the perfect time because it's when everyone started using iPads and taking notes on iPads. So I was pretty early in the trend and I have to say I absolutely love it. I would not go back to taking notes on paper ever again. Now since March I've been using Notability and I was really happy with it. I think it is a pretty pretty good app to use. I've been I switched over to GoodNotes 5 and the reason I did this wasn't particularly because I was unhappy with Notability but I just thought I would try it out because you know on Instagram I see a lot of people using GoodNotes 5 and I decided to try it out and I was honestly so like surprised about how much I like GoodNotes 5 over Notability and they are really similar which is why it can be hard to think oh how can you like one over the other but there are a few distinctions which I think make GoodNotes 5 a better app to use overall. My first point is about the organisation. I actually have both of the apps on my dock down at the bottom here. And I'm going to start by showing you Notability's organisation. So Notability has this funk feature which is where you can see all your notes that you've ever created. And then you can see your 10 most recent notes here. Then you have the option to create, then you have the option to create dividers, which are kind of like the more broad um, organization tool. And within those, you can make subjects, which are more specific. And those are the only two levels of organization that you can do. If I go to my 2019 to 2020 school year, which was last school year, I have the school year, and then I have all my subjects, that I was taking as separate subjects and then I have some of the notes I took in each of these and the reason that there doesn't appear to be that many notes in these is because I only started in March and my school year ends in June so there wasn't that much that we ended up writing about and then this year I decided to go with a different organization aspect which was put my different the different subjects I was taking as different dividers as you can see right here so and then I was able to divide further into units, which I liked a lot better than the method I was using the year before, because everything is just a lot more organized. And you can see I was doing a mixture of black and white paper because I just couldn't decide which one I liked better. With this organization, you end up with quite a lot of notes in one place and they're all organized in a straight down kind of fashion in the order that you open them in, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's, I find it pretty hard to see what everything is and I think there's just not enough levels of organization. And if you wanted to have an extra level of organization, it's just not possible in this format. However, if we head over to GoodNotes 5, I absolutely love the organization here. And I have not been using GoodNotes 5 for very long, so I don't have that many documents in here, but I, what I do have so far I love and I love the potential for organization so on the first page this is like the most broad organization I have my to-do lists and my school so in my to-do list I can open it up and I just have a bunch of I have one to-do list and then I'm adding more pages into this and I only started using um, GoodNotes 5 for to-do list recently which is why I only have two days in here and I'm starting to like the GoodNotes 5 organization to-do lists, but I think I will be sticking to my bullet journaling method. And then I have my school year, 2020 to 2021. I have one folder and then inside that folder, 
I have more folders. And then if I was to go into one, let's just say AP Physics, because I have a few notes in there, you can have even more folders and you can have unit, your specific units. And then once you go into here, I have a note, but you could even add more folders and a notebook. You can do quick notes. You can input, import documents. There is just so much potential for having things extremely organized in GoodNotes 5 in a way that I really love. It's almost kind of like Google Drive in where you can have folder inside folder inside folder. And it really helps you to just know exactly get to the document that you want rather than just going into a subject and scrolling ages until you find the right document. I absolutely love this method of organization. I haven't actually been using the notebooks so far. I'm just not really a fan of the, the covers. Um, you can choose different covers and different designs on the covers, but I do prefer just being able to see what my note actually looks like. And that really helps me to just what I want and so that I can find it more easily. And I feel like if you have notebooks, it kind of forces you to continue writing more things in one notebook. And I think having separate notes for separate topics. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is the speed and efficiency of using both apps. So again, I think we'll start with Notability and I'll just create a new note. And the paper I usually use for Notability is just the the white paper and then gridded, the smallest grids. And usually once I finish taking notes, I'll get rid of the grid. So I'll change the paper to like the blank paper. But while I'm taking notes, I need the grids to make it nice and neat. You can change this to, you can change the name to whatever you want. So I'm just gonna say Notability. One thing that I really like that Notability has recently added is this favorites bar. And in this favorites bar, you can move it around to whatever you want and you can save certain pens that you use often and it makes it much easier to switch between different pens. And Notability didn't used to have this. This used to be one of the biggest perks of GoodNotes 5 because you could have saved pen. But now Notability has this thing where you can easily just switch between different pens. This makes the whole process a lot more efficient. When we're talking about importing photos and importing documents, I think Notability is a lot less efficient than GoodNotes 5. In order to import a photo, you have to press this plus, press photo. That is how many clicks? Let's let's count how many clicks. One, two, three, and then to click, and then you click one, let's say I want this one, and then you have to press add. For me, I'm doing a lot of studying and doing a lot of importing diagrams and photos. And this small step is so inconvenient, it frustrating, and it just takes a super long time. The other thing I'm not a huge fan of when it comes to efficiency and notability, and this is very much a personal opinion, is in order to take no uh, make a straight line or a shape, you have to draw a line and then hold. And sometimes it just doesn't work. Draw a line and then hold. And that takes, you know, like, not too long. It's not too bad. Same thing with a highlighter. You drag and hold and then it becomes a straight line. Drag and hold and it becomes a straight line. And you might think, you know, that's not super inefficient, but I believe if you compare it to GoodNotes 5, it's a lot less efficient. And I'll show you that in a second. The other thing is the eraser tool. So let's say I'm drawing a diagram and then I'm drawing a square and something, okay? And I just want to erase a tiny part of it. You literally cannot do that. Let's say I just wanted to make a little gap around here. If you can see my pen moving, it erases the whole entire shape that you drew in one stroke of the eraser. And that is something that I really, really dislike about Notability. You, can, you don't have the ability to change the length of things after you've made them because it won't allow you to erase like just the end of the line. You have to erase the whole thing, which is just so inefficient. Okay, now let's switch over to GoodNotes 5. Let's just create a new quick little note. And my default is this yellow gridded paper, but I'm not a fan of this. So I just changed this to white gridded paper, which is just so much nicer. As you can see up above the top, you can save three different pen colors and three different widths. 
So in total, that's nine different pens, whereas in Notability, you can only save, I think, I believe it's seven different pens. And I really like how you can just save these and easily, easily change the width. If you remember, I was talking about importing photos in Notability, and this process in GoodNotes 5 is so much more useful and so much more efficient. All you have to do is press the little picture icon here, and all your camera roll is already right here, and you just click on a picture to insert it and it comes up immediately. Whereas in GoodNotes 5, there is a slight delay on the photo importing. Also something I really like is, you know, you can do the thing where you draw a line and then hold and it becomes straight, but the more efficient way is to press the shape tool and just draw a line, it automatically becomes straight. And this is so much more efficient than dragging and holding. This is also the same with the highlighter. The highlighter automatically goes and makes itself straight so if you're highlighting things you don't have to worry about making it straight or anything like that because it automatically makes it straight i believe yeah it also makes it like a perfect curve or anything like that and the shape tool is really useful draw a circle and it automatically makes it into a circle draw a triangle it makes it a perfect triangle draw a square makes it a perfect square it's just so useful and efficient and in Notability, if you were to do this, you would have to draw the circle and hold and most of the time it wouldn't turn into a circle. The time difference between drawing a circle and holding for it to become a circle and just drawing a circle is so drastic. I think this is a big thing that Notability is lacking. Of course, if you don't want to use the shape tool, you don't have to. These work pen as well in the exact same way that Notability does, but it has this little extended feature where you can just have shapes drawn for you. Another thing I absolutely love about, about GoodNotes 5 is the eraser tool. And you don't have to erase the whole line. You can just erase the end bit as you like. And it is so useful that you can just erase the middle like that. The one thing that did take me a while to figure out is the pasting tool. And this was actually a reason why I didn't use uh, GoodNotes 5 in the beginning, because I couldn't figure out how to paste. And it's actually really simple. So let's say I wanna copy and paste this. First, you just select it with the lasso tool and you press copy. I figured that part out. I could not for the life of me figure out how to paste, but you actually have to press and hold and then paste will come up. And you can paste it, you can resize it. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is the aesthetics of both apps. I prefer the aesthetics of Good Notes 5. And this has only recently come about. I used to prefer the aesthetics of Notability. And I always write these in capital letters. And then I'll use the highlighting tool and I'll just make it kind of neater like this. And then when I'm taking my normal notes, I will write my headings again in capital letters. So let's just say, I really noticed that the neatness of my handwriting in GoodNotes 5 is so much better compared to Notability. I don't know whether the app is automatically correcting my handwriting as I go along, but I have the exact same handwriting, the exact same pen, but my notes appear much neater. That was me really like writing at a reasonably fast speed and it came out really clear and it's really easy to see. If we head over to Notability, let's just start writing. Okay, to me, this looks much less neat. And also if you zoom in, there's so many more flaws in the writing that just haven't been auto-corrected by the app. It helps make your writing neater and make your notes more readable. Another thing that's kind of related to the aesthetics is the gridding. This grid, as you tell, can tell, is kind of dark and it's kind of in your face and it's there and you can really see the gridding. However, if we go to GoodNotes 5, it's very faint and it's kind of a brownie gray color and it's less, much less prominent. I really, really like that especially even in notebooks and anything, I always make sure my paper has light lines, light dots, light grinning. And GoodNotes 5 has this. And this is not something that you can change in either of the apps, 
this is just something a personal thing that i really prefer in good notes 5. something i also like which you can do in notability but it's a little bit less efficient is you can have multiple notes just sitting up here waiting and you can actually have like i believe it's like 10 to 15 like you can keep and keep adding them which is really convenient if you're just trying to easily switch between two in notability this process is a little bit different and you have to swipe to the side and then you can scroll through your recent notes but if you're writing and you want to see something you have to scroll and then tap to see your other notes and then it has to load and then back and there's a slight lag if you're going into good notes 5 there's literally no lag between finding these two notes and it's easily accessible at the top of the page and that is the re one of the main reasons i chose to use good notes 5 over notability thank you guys so much for watching i hope that this video was helpful and i hope it just helps you decide between good notes and notability of course a lot of the things that i said were personal preferences and I understand if you don't agree with those personal preferences and you decide to go with notability, which is exactly why I made this video explaining which one I prefer rather than just saying which one I prefer. I gave you some reasoning and if you disagree with that reasoning, that's totally okay. And if you think I miss anything or there's any tips that you have for using either of the apps that might help with the efficiency or the aesthetics, please comment them down below. Also comment down below if you'd like to see a video of how I take notes in Notability and how I make my headings, how I make my notes look nice and how I make my diagrams. If you haven't already, please give the video a like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.